So welcome to another video. Today I'm actually going to do another video on recovering uh, deleted files that have been emptied out your recycle bin or have been deleted by accident on your digital camera for example like the all delete feature for some reason. I actually did another uh, video on doing recoveries. It's called Pandora. That's another free application. Uh, from some of the comments that I got on that video it seems like it doesn't work. So you take this with a grain of salt. It's a free application. It's not going to do magic it's not gonna pull miracles but it does give you a possibility of bringing back some of those pictures if you're quick enough keyword is quick enough you can't you yeah keyword is quick enough so here it is Piriform a recouver by Piriform makes some decent applications they also make CC cleaner defragger and recouver uh, I haven't I haven't messed with CC cleaner network edition I don't know what that is I might take a look into that Seems like what other new applications, but Piriform makes really decent applications. Very simple, very clean, very cut and clean applications. Nothing too fancy or flashy applications. So these are pretty good. So you want to go ahead and just hit the download button, and uh, it's going to take you to this screen. There's three editions. There's a free version, which where you're allowed to use. There's a professional and business edition. You know, to to comp if you're going to use this for business or professional, whatever, uh, you have to pay a license fee. But if you're home, you can go ahead and just go to filehelpbook.com and go ahead and download it there for free. That's basically it. So after you get the installation done, you're going to be greeted by this screen. Hit yes. And it'll say, welcome to Recover Wizard. And it'll ask you what you want to recover. Usually people, what they want to recover are their pictures. But I don't have pictures on my flash drive. I'm just going to go ahead and do documents. And, and it'll give you several options. I was looking for in the media card. My documents, recyclables, or even specific folders. You you just want to be careful not to select the whole damn hard drive because you're gonna be there forever. And give it some sort of direction, so it'll be a lot quicker and sooner. So I'm gonna give it a media card. And enable deep scan to be able to get everything as possible. So in the meantime, while this is doing that scan, I want to go over a few facts about computers and hard drives. The thing about computer or well, operating systems and hard drives. The thing about hard drives and operating system is that the information does not get, get deleted instantly. Like, let's say, for example, I'm going to go ahead and delete this document right here. And I'll empty it out. Let's pretend because I kind of need that document for my class. So I'm not going to delete it. So let's just pretend we deleted that file. Just for just humor me here. So let's pretend we deleted this file and we hit the empty recycle bin. So, okay, great. Now you delete it. Now you can't get it back. So what happens is that now the operating system tells the hard drive that that file C++11-26 is okay to rewrite, but it's still there. It'll, re it'll overwrite it when it, re it needs it. So that's how it works. So if you do it quick enough and soon enough, you'll be able to recover everything back up to 99% in quality. But you have to do it quickly enough, or if you if you use it for a bit, it's going to be overwriting it, and it's going to be it's, it's going to be no good for you. And the thing about it is, if you use it, let's say for 10, 20 minutes, let's say you delete all your pictures from your from your digital camera, and you start taking pictures, and you start overwriting, then it will not just overwrite like a single picture; it'll take like fragments of every picture, so they're not going to be perfect. Normally this process takes around one or two minutes depending on the size and so on and so forth. It's a really basic application. Anybody is able to use it. And here are the results of all the things you can find. So let's go ahead and see this green one means it's in good quality condition. The red one means that eh, you're kind of pushing it and you're going to get bad quality. Uh, let's go ahead and see because these files have been overwritten yet. So let me go ahead and just recover this one and then this one. I just recently deleted this one like a few days ago and it's going to ask you for a place to recover. I'm going to recover it on the desktop. So there it is. So the this one should be in really bad quality condition. Should not be. Well I guess it was secure then. Well I guess I got lucky and then I recovered these folders. So that's basically it to this video and hopefully you found it some, some useful. Again this is a free solution. Don't expect it to do any miracles. The key here is to make sure you get your flash drive or the section where you delete it instantly and recover it as soon as you can. Other than that you're going to be kind of screwed and you won't be able to get it back and that's the end of that. So and that's basically it for this video and thanks for watching.